quickly. You said they are super long on India, and you have three reasons why you believe that to be the case. But I want to understand from you, uh, what is fueling that optimism at this point in time? And let me throw back the question that your colleague Anant Maheshwari asked. Uh, is India going to be the data capital of the world? No, first of all, thank you so much, Shireen, for having me, and Happy New Year to you and your viewers. Uh, it's great to be back uh, in India, and you know, it's very palpable, the energy, the dynamism. Uh, and to your point, there are a couple of things. Right? One is, when I look at what's happening in the economy today, in, at the growth rates of 6 7%, it's clear that by 2030, uh, India will go from being number five to maybe number three as a global economy. Um, it's already a hotbed for startups. I think it's number two in the world in terms of startups. But the three data points that I sort of look at, uh, given our vantage point, is when it comes to GitHub and where we see all of the world's software developers, India is number two already. And in fact, when it comes to AI projects, it, interestingly enough, India is number one. Mm. Uh, and so you can't, if you're sort of this next phase is going to be an AI age, you have to be long on India because already these developers, that means are going to impact every part uh, of the um, uh, Indian society and Indian industry. The other one that I also say, uh, Shireen, is skilling. Mm. You know, on LinkedIn, one of the data points which sort of strikes me as just phenomenal is people taking pride in upskilling themselves in India is double the global rate. Right, all that, right? It's not about just the school yeah. you went to, it's about the skills you're picking up every day. And that's all translating ultimately into um, you know, Indian growth and Indian productivity. So these are things that make me very, very optimistic about India.